Konnichiwa, Mina is Tisakura, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10-minute review is going to be on a PS4 game, and that is Energy Balance. A very clever math puzzle game which I really, really enjoyed. Alright, the developers and publishers for this game is Sometimes You. The game was released in Australia and the UK on July uh, 28, 2017. And then in the US it came out in June 2nd, 2017. Alright, this is a single player game. It does require 532 megs to install and does support the DualShock 4 controller. As the ratings go, it is E for the ESRB, Peggy plus 3, and G for the ACB. Alright, so in this game it has a very weird storyline that I actually didn't take the time to read. I was just in such a hurry to actually play everything. I didn't read each of the uh, little segments I have in it. All I know is it involves space cats. We'll leave it at that. Okay, so energy balance. There are three different things to do. You got 12 levels for the very first one. And basically you have to match the numbers to complete the level. And it is easy at first. As you see here, you have to get a 7, so you have to use the minuses and pluses to get it to equal. And you have to you connect it within the lines right there to get where you're going. So it can get complicated quickly. This is, of course, this is the first puzzle, so it's super easy to get it to work. Though, because I wanted to show you guys, it took me a little bit. And right there, done. Simple as that. Simple, I say. Now, in hardcore mode, um, there's only f uh, four levels, but they actually start using double numbers. So, as you can see here, we got... Um, yeah, 31s, 33, a uh, negative 31, sorry, and so forth. You have to make sure each of those numbers are um, what your sum is. That's what you have to get for each of them. Now, I know some of you will be like, oh, well, that's going to be easy. I'll just go ahead and grab a guide and uh, use that to complete it. But here's the, here's the beauty of this game. Completely random numbers every single time that uh, makes the game impossible to use a guide. There are helps, if you will, and the guides would be like, well, okay, if you get like this and you do this, then hopefully you'll have the right numbers and able to really complete this. Trust me, it doesn't work that good. It's better just to um, come up with your own strategy and just go at it, because the game is not going to be nice to you whatsoever. And sometimes the best thing to do is literally just reset, 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 reset until you get the numbers you like. Um, I'll be honest, hardcore mode is actually the hardest part of the game, in my opinion. Um, it was just a little bit harder just because of the larger numbers compared to just puzzle mode and square mode. But when it came down to it, I loved every minute of this. Because the thing that was that was extremely rewarding about this game is sometimes it would just happen. And you're just like, oh, I did it. I'm awesome. And that's how you literally feel every single time you complete a level. Because you're racking your brain trying to get those numbers and then all of a sudden, it just clicks. And there's, it just feels so good with yourself. This is one of those games that I would say... See, like right there. I just finally got it after messing around with it. And I did have to actually cut because I had way too much time on that one. So right here is square mode. Four uh, difficulties. And literally, it is what it is. It is squared. This is, in my opinion, probably the easiest 
uh, one of the bunch just because what I would do is I'd always get the first row done then I'd get the uh, side row done and then I'd be able to basically have it all f kind of fall into uh, place from there. Um, doesn't always work but it seemed to work uh, quite nicely for me after I got the pattern down. Um, and it was it really was fun because you really have to use your math you have to really think about it and it will just drive you crazy sometimes because the game isn't polite to you at all and this is only the first level and it it wasn't too hard to be honest it's when you get to this part where all you have a ton of things you're like crap what do I move what do I do to be able to get just right and you will find sometimes you'll be sitting there just moving everything around until finally you realize oh I have the wrong one in the wrong line but I have everything working crap now what do I move and that's why I found myself more doing every so often especially on this one because the squared ones like I said they're easier to do but there's a lot of times where I just I just racked my brain it drove me crazy and uh, but all in all it was just fun it really was so yeah I couldn't help but enjoy myself the whole time because, like I said, after you get after you complete it, you just feel like you're the smallest person in the world. <laughs> As you can see right here, um, I just skipped ahead and I have moved everything around, and it's like, okay, crap, what did I do wrong? Because I had the wrong ones in the wrong spots, and able to get it to work, and oh, it's just it was it was fun. Because, you know, then all of a sudden, now everything's working again. It's like, crap. So, here comes the problem. I can't change that zero. But I can change everything so little to get it to work. But then what will actually solve this this equation? And then, out of nowhere, it'll just pop sometimes. I'm not kidding. Because I, I will find myself like that. Just be like... Oh my gosh, what did I do? And I'm left beside myself because I have no idea what I just did. Now, I want to show you one more, and that's going to be the hardest puzzle on Square, just to show you what I had to do. And there you are. Yes, you have to get all that to work. This wasn't super hard, but as you can see right here, I'm just um, resetting the level every time. Just to show you guys, I'm not kidding about the random part. So, yeah, that right there is energy balance. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys the trophies. Literally, every trophy is per level. Every time you complete a level, you'll get a trophy, and it just feels so satisfying. It is an easier platinum to do, but you have to just stick it out because the game will not be nice to you. So I just wanted to show you guys the trophies real quick because it was a platinum that I am actually qu quite proud of myself to get. Alright, for the rating I gave this one 4 out of 5. Now I know with all the things I was talking about the game, you know, how excited I was about it, the only thing I had a problem with this game was it was too short. Now, had they given us a couple more options and stuff to do, I would have probably given this a 5. Because all we have is negative and positive numbers we get to use. I would have loved to have seen a, uh expansion pack release that gave us multiplication and division. I know, I want to be punished. I know, I'm sorry. But... With the three modes, I just felt that so much more could have been done and this game would have been even better had they done something with that because it would have made the game 
just that much more exciting, that much harder. And, oh, man, I, oh, that would just be so much fun. It, yes, apparently I long to be tortured when it comes to math games. Um, so that's the only reason why I did not give this one a perfect score is because that one little element that I would have loved to have in here did not come to the game, sadly. But I couldn't go any lower than a 4 because the game really is fantastic. And if you love math and you love doing stuff like this, it is the perfect game to get. It is also available for the Vita as well. Um, the good news is for the Vita version, it does have its own separate trophy list. So if you want to experience the game all over again, you can go and get yourself a second trophy list which is something I will most likely do because I really enjoyed the game. Time to go and uh, draw myself crazy once more. So if you guys are looking for a good math game, I highly recommend this one. You will really find it enjoyable and challenging. Hope you guys have enjoyed the review. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara.